So engineering has one of the lowest retention rates out of any major in college. In fact, about 50 to 60% of engineering students end up either dropping out or switching their major. The ones who switch their majors often switch to business. There's a common joke amongst engineering students that the lower your GPA is in your first year, the more likely you are to switch to business. And I actually experienced this firsthand because in my first year, I met a lot of people. A lot of them were very brilliant, very smart. They seemed like they really got it. And then one semester in, two semesters in, I realized that they switched out. And some of them, just were not interested and that's okay but when i would talk to a lot of them they would say oh man i really loved engineering i wish it was my thing but it's too hard and one might think yes engineering is hard like the math and physics are very hard they're not easy concepts to grasp and this is especially true if you're not like a math person or if you're not somebody who grew up enjoying these things but the reality is it's not just the technical skills it's not just the math and physics what ends up happening is the students they get overwhelmed they don't have the work ethic to keep up like stressed out like extremely stressed overwhelmed and then when they fail like an exam or a quiz, they just cannot deal with the failure. However, in my opinion, all of that boils down to one thing. And there's one thing really that separates the students who can do it and the students who cannot do it. And what that boils down to is literally belief, like just your belief in how doable the thing is. I've seen countless students who are less skilled, not very good with technical skills, they don't like math that much, but they still succeed in engineering and they kick ass because they have the belief that they can do it. Meanwhile, the students that doubt that they can do it and doubt that they can succeed are the ones that stress and struggle the most. So while technical skills and being good at math, being good at physics, being good at applying the concepts is very important, I really think the neglected area in engineering school is the beliefs and mindset. Like nobody teaches students how to adopt new beliefs and how to change their mindset about engineering and that was actually the main reason I started this channel is because I saw that there's a gap in this area now I don't need to sound like any of these mindset gurus but think about it for a second your beliefs and the way you see the world and the way you see engineering literally like determines everything that you do like that's kind of the foundation in which everything builds on top of that for example let's say you're trying to become an electrical engineer and let's say you want to specialize in electronics you want to design electronic circuits but deep down you have a belief that like some people are just born like very talented at designing electronics and these are the people that have the best jobs, but you who are not born with that, you're probably not gonna be that good. Well, that's gonna become a self-fulfilling prophecy because you're only gonna get as good as like you believe that you're able to be. If you're taking applied electromagnetics in your junior year and you're thinking it's too hard, you may not be able to do it. Well, that's probably gonna be true because it's again, gonna be a self-fulfilling prophecy because you're capping a belief on something. The same goes for internships, for work and for everything else. Your outcomes in life are only gonna rise to the level of your beliefs. So if your beliefs are limiting you, this is gonna get really hard. Now, often the students who have this doubt or lack of belief that they can do it, whether like it's doing well in a class, getting an internship, getting a job, the hard part in that is that they have been like programmed since like, I don't know, childhood or middle school or high school, or there's like lack of evidence that they can do it. Hence, they don't really have the belief that they can do it. And I used to struggle with this too, where I used to think, man, I've never done this before. So how can I instill the belief in me that I can actually do it? And the cure for that is like, if you're somebody who struggles with this, the cure is to remind yourself that this has been done before by many people. You're about to take a calculus exam and it's really hard. You ask yourself, how many people have passed this? Like literally millions, maybe. So you're like, okay, why can't I? I'm like 99.9% .9 similar to all these people. Like, yes, we all have different personalities and whatnot, but at the end of the day, we're all like very genetically similar. Like our brains look very similar. And anything you do really, just the reminder that this has been done before by other people who are no smarter than you, that can be a real game changer. Now, I know what you might think like, oh, dude, I already know this. Like, I've, I know that people have done this before, but I still have this fear in me or like, things still or it's not quite that simple and that's because yes while you know it you have not enforced that belief strongly enough the other belief which is fear-based which you learn throughout your life is still much stronger so what I would do no joke I would like write this on a piece of paper and read it every day like before I do homework assignments before I walk into an exam as soon as I wake up I think if you wake up and you have a list of like beliefs they want to adopt and evidence for them and just reiterate that and reinforce it day after day soon enough all this like fear-based behavior will disappear with time. For example, I just get like a piece of paper like this and I would write on it like three statements, for example, and I would read them every day. And these are not like affirmations. These are really just reminders and arguments. You know, I'm an engineer, I'm a practical guy. I'm not really gonna talk about like the woohoo world of like, I don't know, affirmations and manifestation and things like that. This is none of what I'm talking about. What I'm talking about is just like reminding yourself and just reinforcing a belief over and over where one thing you could say is, I'm probably gonna do well in electrical engineering because many people have done well and many people have found jobs. But I still need to take the action and figure out what I need to do to increase the odds of that happening. 
like a second statement. I'm probably gonna do very well on my exams and on my assignments because again, many people have done them before and it's not that hard. But I'm probably gonna still need a lot of help. I'm probably gonna have to work with people, ask my professors, ask my TAs. And doing these things will increase the odds of me succeeding. Like a third statement, I'm probably gonna get my dream job. And there's no reason to doubt that because many people have gotten their dream jobs before. But I'm still gonna need to build the skills, expertise, get some projects under my belt, make my resume really good. And that would help me increase the odds of that happening. So you see what we're doing here is one, we're shattering the old fear-based belief and we're introducing a new one that's more optimistic and possible, but we're grounding ourselves in reality by providing the actions needed and, and the realistic measures needed to take place such that it's not just like, oh yeah, I'm gonna do it and it's gonna like, it's gonna be okay. Like that might work if you're crazy, but you're not crazy, you're an engineering student and you're very practical and pragmatic. So while yes, you're probably gonna be more than fine, you need to understand that there are some actions that you can take to increase the odds of you being more than fine. But the first step is to shatter the old belief, replace it with this new good one. Second step is take action. And taking action will be much easier now that you have the belief that it is doable and it is possible because countless other people who are no smarter than you, no better than you, have done it before. Now, if you want to adopt better frameworks on how to like make decisions and have these kind of beliefs and use that not just in your classes, but also in how you carve out a career and essentially adopt everything I have learned in terms of how to use my brain and write software in my brain to carve out the dream career that you want. I gave this amazing talk at Xavier University and the students absolutely loved it. And I have a feeling you would love it as well. So if I were you, I'd have a notebook and a pen and I would take as many notes as I can from this because this can literally transform your life. So I'll see you over there.